Cause I hit you with that bad space You ain't coming back Love and trauma on the bitch You give me space like that What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Entertainment Curated, the channel where you let us know what we should and shouldn't be playing based upon your interactions down below. Today we are checking out a world of Keflings. I don't know if this is the prequel or the sequel to A Kingdom of Keflings. I think that's what the other one's called. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting game. We'll jump into it. I actually thought about not doing this one just because this game is 100%ed for me. But I figured, why not? Why not? I don't know. Just because I 100 percent it doesn't mean that you guys don't want to see it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but if you're one of the beautiful people that jumped into our comment section in the last video, whether it was to answer the PYP or just say hello, here's the comment on screen that we chose. The PYP for this video is would you rather start breastfeeding from your mother again or drink a bag of blood from the blood bank? Now, I don't want to talk about how dark it would get if I was to answer the first one. So I'm just going to take the second one. I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to become a glittered up vampire and chase after a girl that doesn't deserve either of the two let's let's be honest here she doesn't deserve either of the two the terrible monster in that in that movie if you have no idea what i'm talking about i'm obviously talking about bella from twilight but what would you rather do start breastfeeding from your mother again or drink a bag of blood from the blood bank So the cool thing about this game is it uses your avatar. Whatever happened to games like that? Sure, none of your preferred level for not no. We're gonna we're just gonna wing it. I don't even remember how to play this. But whatever happened to the games where you use your avatar to actually do something? You can still have an avatar in an Xbox One, but it's so hidden behind the scenes, it's such an afterthought. I don't even remember if like you, if you buy a brand new Xbox One, do they force you to make an avatar? Or just don't even care until you download the app. Good old, good old uh, Ninja B. Got your character in the stance. So they're tiny little beings. And they need you. They need you to help them out. Um... Welcome. Holy hose head. You're huge, eh? And I thought I had muscles. Oh, wow. Of course I get the Canadian one. Is it your thyroid? I bet it's your thyroid. Anyway, since you're here, giant frozen guy, a fire pit over there would sure heat things up, eh? It's probably the, it's probably the most time someone's going to probably hear me say, eh? Build a terrace at the work hut and use it to finish the fire pit. Mm, I can already taste the roasted fish mallows. Fish mallows. I don't even know what the heck that is. Um, so I guess this actually transitions into... Why, why, why does JC not sound like a typical Canadian? Um, my whole... Actually, wait. How do you... Wait. Can't harvest ore until you have the ore hammer. Okay, so my entire like career Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I want it I want you. I mean I guess so. 
Okay, so she's gonna grab ice. No, 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 I don't need to talk to you. I could have... Hello? Did I actually just freeze myself? I did. I freaking froze myself. Isn't that amazing? Oh, there we go. We'll go off the auto saves. Which one is actually selected? Anyways. Why does JC not sound Canadian? Yes. Okay. So, most of my gaming career, from day one getting online, was with Americans. So, I've been with Americans, like, most of my time. First time I got on, on video games was... Um... 2000... 2003 and I think that was in COD 4 yeah because I was told this was actually back in the time when I used to work at Blackberry um, as a manager can I do that? no can you at least take him out? no But what are we doing with the ice? Okay, so you take it back, man. Can you take it back? Okay. And then we need another dude that's going to just take back. She's still doing her thing over here. So while I was working at Blackberry, I had this friend of mine named Paul. And Paul would... Talk to me about Call of Duty Online, bro. Call of Duty Online. It's amazing. Like, you have to get on there. You have to get on there. And I was just really enjoying playing Call of Duty Offline. I had no problem with that whatsoever. Can you stop? Can you stop? Thank you. And so I was enjoying it offline and I'm just like no no I don't need it I don't need it I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine right and he just kept pushing and pushing every single day he'd be like oh it's so amazing he'd be like you know how like um how the story is right right imagine that but it's unpredictable I'm like awesome job with the fire pit I've been cold for so long I forgot what having toes felt like. Not so to sound ungrateful, but you know what's even better than a fire pit? A snow house. Not together, of course. That could be uh, disastrous. You probably need this blueprint, eh? And I'm like, okay, I mean, that sounds intriguing because I kind of know what all of the... I kind of know what all the characters are going to do. When you play the story enough, like you kind of, you kind of know. So I'm like, all right, I'll try it out. Oh my god! I remember getting on that first night and being like in a in a public lobby and being like, "There's people talking. Like, what do I do? Like, do I like say hello?" And so I just was playing and I tried my best. And since I played the story enough that it wasn't terrible, it wasn't amazing. Probably bottom of the list, but I was I was okay, right? I at least listened when someone's just like they're over here. I kind of moved over there and tried to hold, right? Um, wait, can I just put this in here though? No, no, that's 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 stupid, JC. Okay. Um.
There we go. And so I was doing okay. And I kind of liked it. It was it was fun. It was fun for a while. And so from there I found my own little group of friends and we would play consistently and but they're Americans. Um, the first person I actually talked to online was uh, a guy named Nathan um, from Illinois. If I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's one of the first people to, friend, to befriend me. And, um, yeah, we grew from there. But ever since, like, the beginning days of being on Call of Duty, I think I've met, like, I don't know, four Canadians. Um, it's not that, like, people around me don't play video games. All Keith Camos love snow houses because that's where Keith Camos are made. Uh, come from. You're going to need to put love in the snow houses to activate it, eh? And, uh... So, yeah, so with not seeing that many... Canadians... I was always with Americans, right? The other thing that I would say that kind of broke my Canadian sound, probably. Holy beaver pelts. Those giant hands of yours would be perfect to help me thaw out my... I thought that was going another way. My frozen brother, Doug. He was chased by a pack of rabbit penguins into the snow. But the hose head wasn't wearing his wool skivvies. And he froze solid. Pick him up and place him next to the fire pit. That ought to do the trick, eh? So, also, when I was... Doug's over there. It looks like me, but colder, eh? So, the other thing is... Back when I first started playing video games... Yes, I did play A. Or, play A. <laughs> play A. I did say A. Um... But they would always make fun of me. My friends would always make fun of me for saying A, and they would say, like, um, what's the other one? A boot, right? So they would say all this stuff, and they would literally pick apart any time that, like, my my Canadian accent would come out. They would immediately pounce on it. And so it mentally taught me, if you don't want them to jump down your throat about the way you sound, don't sound like that. Don't have that accent right and so for the longest time i just taught myself don't say a just don't say it because as soon as you say a they're gonna be like oh my god he said it he said it and i just i just stop how's it going eh you saved me you're awesome isn't sovereign rr awesome oh aren't i you're so awesome you don't get frostbite you bite frost eh i bet you're so strong you could kill two stones with one bird eh you must be so tough you can do handstands without using your hands. You're probably so big you have to. Come on, you're making them blush, eh? Take off. I was just trying to ask Sovereign R something, okay? Please, please let us be your lackeys. We can help you build stuff. Yeah, like the blueprint under the snowman over there. If you go get it, we can help you build it. Maybe then we can absorb some of your awesomeness. So yeah, so with all that being into play and the amount of time, I just stopped sounding like... What really got me, though, was when I would be... Can't pick that up yet. When I would be talking to, like, Brits and people that were outside of North America, they would automatically assume that I was American. And I'm like, no. No. And that infuriated me. It's not to say that there's anything wrong with Americans, but to be mistaken as someone from another country because of the way you sound kind of sucks. It, like, it sucks. It, like, it makes you feel less like where you're from. Like, it made me feel less Canadian because it was like I'm getting s seen as American or, I guess, sounded because you're not, you can't see me. Um while I'm mine, it's just like, no. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no place like home. What the? How did I get here? This definitely isn't Rodeo Drive. 
or Rodeo. Is it Rodeo or Rodeo? And there's no working gate back home. I can't stay here. My lips will freeze. And how would I make these weird babbly noises? Will you help me find a way home? My daddy is there dreaming of a kingdom and a castle. But he's not enough, big enough to build one himself. Poor daddy with his floppy little Kefling arms. Okay, so... But how do we... No woman. Okay. Just need to make more houses? Or should we make a fire pit? Maybe we'll put a fire pit right next to the snowman. Maybe? You never know, right? Thank you, sir. So these Kathleen's will actually start bringing things to you to allow you to place. I don't remember if they, whoops. I don't remember if they actually place. Well, that didn't do anything. Isn't that the blueprint? Hmm. Okay. Do you just want me to build another snow house? Is that what you're looking for? I mean, if you want me to, that's fine. Okay. No, 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 no that's true. Thank you. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to just keep building. I'm assuming based upon maybe the hearts that I should keep building it. Thank you. So it's a very chill game. It's definitely one of those games you're just going to chill on the couch. I think what they want me to do is they want me to... Why couldn't I just take that in the first place? Anyways. So yeah. Going back to what I said. That's why I don't sound Canadian. Americans ruined me! No, I'm just kidding. I need to get more wood. Oh, actually, I can go grab that pad, though. This person's ready to be... upgraded. Basically, just smash her over the head. What was the other person? One of these ones, right? The wood, the wood girl? So when you upgrade them, they... Harvest faster. Oh, here we go. Wham! Just smash him in the head. Okay. 
Okay, and then I want you to go grab all of this stuff. So we're like, I think only like a couple people are actually grabbing stuff. Okay. I don't like how like once you you show them like yeah I want you to do this no you have to show them where to go though <laughs> no I want to pick up this dude okay okay I can't grab you miss Miss, I can't grab you. Okay. I totally had like another story to do, but it got sucked into it because um See now this guy's a carver, right? So this person can carve ice. So now we can make a great hall. No, no, I, I got it. I'm, we're good, man. We're good. Um, where do I want to put this, though? We're going to need, like, a fair amount of space there. Okay, so yours is gonna be here. Boom! Let me just put you back down. Uh, we need ice. We oh, we need ice. How do you make car carved ice? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. Yeah. And then we want... I want you to take the ice, right? And I want you to bring it here. Cool. And then we can also actually ask for the ice. We just take it there ourselves. And then once we have the carved ice. I don't know what's going on. Oh. A dragon. Take off, eh? Ah, no. The beast is ruining my beautiful ice carver building. Take off, eh? It's just a giant dragon. Aye, just a giant dragon. You'll be getting no work from me until that flying bucket of haggis gets off my roof. Okay, take off, eh? Dragon? No way he's going to take off just like that. You'll need to shoo the dragon away. All you gotta do is use your awesome shoe emote. Like this. Okay, sure. Got a new emote. But that's where we're going to stop it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I beat this game. Got the 100%. Moved on. I don't even think I went over to a kingdom of Keflings. Uh, but if you want me to play more of this game, tell you more stories, it's up to you. Let me know down in the comments down below. But until next time, whether you're online or offline, still stay focused and get yours. See ya!